Hello, Mike Effingham here, Natural Current. It is January 23rd, 2020. And it's about almost three o'clock in the afternoon. You can see the sun. Natural Current, Sunray. We are showing off our half horsepower Sunray solar pool pump with the Advantage Manufacturing 75 square foot filter. And currently we're running it on one solar panel. We can run above ground pool on our half horsepower cartridge filter system on one solar panel. So this is one 390 watt panel. Those are 48 volts, nine amps. So we're gonna go ahead and do a quick gallons per minute test. Okay, Mike, let's try it. This is a five gallon bucket. Yeah. And here we go, in one. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. Okay. So it's roughly like maybe four to five seconds. Yeah, four to five seconds. Five seconds is 60 gallons a minute and 3,600 gallons an hour. So on one solar panel, we're getting about 60 gallons a minute, and in an hour, that's 3,600 gallons of water. So it'll do this pool with under about two hours. Why don't we show this pool, Mike? So how many gallons is this pool? It's roughly about like between five and six, depending on how, right? 6,000 gallons. About 6,000 gallons. So this one solar panel, half horsepower pump, will handle uh, this swimming pool and filter all the water within uh, two hours. What I'm gonna do now, Mike, is I'm gonna put it on two solar panels, just so if somebody right. wants to see. Right, right, right now, it's on one solar panel. So now right. I'm gonna add it to two solar panels, so we're gonna get much more water flow. But come over here, Mike, with the camera, and notice how quiet it is. I mean, you could really put it down here, and you know you can't barely even hear the thing running. So it's that quiet to have a, a solar pool pump pumping away at 60 gallons a minute and not being able to really hear it at all. So I'm gonna um, do Did two solar panels. Be... Okay. So I'm going to take this off. So now we have two. You had a burst. Yeah, we got a big burst. So now let's see what kind of gallons per minute we have now. So if you have the room in your backyard and you want to go with a bigger panel setup, you definitely can. With one panel, it's about a thousand dollar setup. So the right. pump, the one solar panel, is about a thousand dollars to take your above ground pool off the grid. Now we have two panels. Let's see what kind of gallons per minute we're getting. And go. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,000. So it's a little over three, three-ish. Yeah. So you're, you're probably up around what? 80 gallons a minute. Right, so like you've really... Yeah, let's it. do it one more time. And go. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. That's it. Yeah, you're right there. Three so seconds. we're over, we're easily 75, 80 gallons a minute. Right. So that's about close to 5,000 gallons of water which every hour. Right, it's the velocity too. Like right, so, speed. exactly. So the thing is, is it's January 23rd at three o'clock p.m. and you can come over here, Mike, and show them the sun. And, I you can know, show them your shadow. Yeah. <laughs> We're not supposed to look into the sun, are right. we? Right. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna be like the president on the eclipse. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know, no, look totally. Up there. I, I did a look up on the eclipse and I made that mistake too. Right. But yeah, you're exactly right, Mike. We can see our shadows here. We can really tell <laughs> that anywhere in our country, you know, this, this will handle your above ground pool anytime during the year to keep it filtered. Um, so again, we have two solar panels, 200. It's a cloudy day in California, but yeah, it's right. Southern California. But but even when we have cloud cover, yeah, it works it, really well. We, you, you still get a pretty high percentage of the sun comes through. No doubt about so it. So we, we have like in our spring June gloom, and sometimes like they, this is thick like water clouds, and you still get a high percentage of the solar picks it up. No doubt about it. And the thing is, is when we're doing the two panels, the pump and filter, that's a thirteen hundred dollar package. Right. to take the above ground pool off the grid. So to have that kind of, you know, uh, cash output, the ROI is really, really quick. Under two years, probably about a year and a half or so, to take these above ground pools off the grid. And now you saw that the one panel still does 60 gallons a minute. So that's a thousand dollar package. So that's not bad for the pump and a one solar panel. Now what we have here is our 100 watt solar panels. And I'm gonna plug those in really quick. And we're gonna see what kind of flow rate we get as well. Negative wire. There's a demonstration. The, the pump is shut off. Right. So it all it goes on and off with the sun. It definitely does. Yeah. You want to make a comment about DC power where it's not as it's not as like you know dangerous as like AC or what? Yeah, yeah. Well, that was like the same way you're messing with that barehanded and everything. Yeah, no, that's a good point. It, it tingles you and stuff. It's safe. Um, you still want to be cautious. But 
here we go. So now I plug in four 100 watt solar panels, and we got those going here. Let's go ahead and get a gallons per minute on this. Yeah, and I think you're. Uh Get out of the way. I, it might be the angle on those, but we should be back. To yeah. The well, you know, at this you're, you're there, at three o'clock in the afternoon. No, you're at the same. You're at the same flow again. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Ready? Okay. Let me go. One thousand one. One thousand two. One thousand three. One thousand four. One thousand five. One thousand six. Maybe a little slow. About six, right? It, it, I think we're at around six seconds. So six seconds is still three thousand gallons an hour. Right. And, and some part of it's an angle. Right now we have it on four 100 watt solar panels. We have our Sunray half horsepower solar pump, our uh, Advantage Manufacturing cartridge filter. You can't hear the motor spin. It's absolutely silent. And let's see what kind of gallons per minute we get out of it. So ready, Mike? Yep. And I'm gonna go. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. Yeah, so about... Say five and a half to six. Yeah, so if it's so six maybe, seconds... maybe at 50 gallons a minute. It's there. 50 gallons a minute, that's 3,000 gallons an hour. So it could filter this pool every two hours, all right. this water. It's a good right. setup. And that's, you know, 50 gallons a minute. But like you said, you know, it's... 3.30 in the afternoon here. And, and what are you doing on the angle there? You, you That's a piece of wood or foam? No, that's just some foam I put foam. underneath no, there. that's nice. I mean, you just put a little angle on it. Yeah, that's always good to do, but they're right on the ground. Anybody can put them anywhere, but more of an angle. If they're more like this, it's kind of about where they probably should be. Summarizing, we have our Sunray half horsepower. We have four 100 watt solar panels. All that for under a thousand bucks, and it could take your above ground swing pool off the grid. That average is around 50 gallons a minute, 3,000 gallons an hour, and, uh, and it's a great, great system to take the you know six million above ground pools out there that have no reason to be on the grid and pumping those, and filtering that water. So fantastic, thank you, Mike. Good deal. And then one last thing is, um, it, it, there's a benefit to like turning your pool over multiple times. Yeah. Because the idea that you're going to get all this pool water into that filter with one turnover it is unrealistic. You're lucky to get maybe half of the water into right. that filter. So each time you do it, it's like an asymptote where you're getting closer and closer to like, you know, your 100% filtration. So if you ran all day, like in June from, you know, six, seven in the morning to like six, seven at night or even later, depending on your horizon and your, you know, your tree cover. Right. You, you can, um, you could get the pool turned over like like 90 something percent you'd be and everything like that is less chemical use healthier you know less problems that, that you know just a healthy environment for you and your family to be swimming in it, it, you know you want it as pure as possible but you know normally you wouldn't spend the money because that's wasteful but the fact that you're using like free energy you can get the pool cleaner than anything so I, people always ask when is your return on investment I say it's the next day. If you're turning your pool over and you're 90 something percent efficient on filtering your pool water versus like the standard pool, maybe you're, you're half as efficient. Yeah. So like you have a cleaner, safer environment the next day, less chemical use, better for the family and everything else with, with no, you know, no out of pocket costs and no extra fossil fuel use or anything else. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that's my pitch that you know, get your pool as clean as possible for, you know, no downside costs. Yeah, no doubt about it. And the other thing I would also add is on the return lines, uh, a lot of people will have them plumbed into the pool, so it does uh, have a better circulation than what we're displaying yeah. here. Yeah. Um, but if you want to do a deck side setup, you can easily put a, a sweep elbow and have the water circulate the pool sure. in, circula, in a circular motion. That way you can get a better uh, filtration yeah, of all you your water. You can vacuum for free, but it'd be hard to have dead spots and get algae when you have this much circulation. Yeah. So yeah. that's the key. No doubt about it. All right. Well, that's pretty amazing. And we have a solar pump running off the sun for under $1,000. And uh, now you can get that free circulation on a sustainable swimming pool. And what could be better, you know? Problem. Yeah, well, you have some other ideas. Like you can you can add heating to this. Yeah. Like you could run that through the heating tube. So now that you get your free pump running all day, you could lay out like the the heat transfer right here. So on the return, it, it comes out of the um, filter, and then we send it through the part of it through the heat transfer, so it would come back out. And you know maybe there you need a little more head pressure at times, but the idea would be that you're actually picking up the heat transfer. Yeah. You know, even at just a couple degrees, sometimes that's the difference between the kids wanting to swim or not. You extend your swimming season. Right, right, no 
What do we got? It's, it's getting a little warmer. The day's yeah. getting longer, right? <laughs> right, it's, it's, right? It was colder like a week or two ago. No, you made a great point, Mike. We could definitely have the return flow, hook on a thermal heater, and keeping it by your pool and along the deck there. Um, will definitely keep your pressure low and the solar pump can definitely pump, filter, and heat your water uh, in these above ground pools. And you could come up with some other ideas that like you can put your chlorine tabs. Yep. You know, Tab if, you, if you want it. The professional way is to have a canister so after it goes through the filter, you know, you could send it through the, the tab feeder. The tab feeder too. Yeah. You tab can do feeder. it. So some, you know, run everything through it and you kind of adjust how much flow goes through it. Right. But right. you could do that. Nice. Like you, you look at the chlorine canisters where you put three inch tabs in them normally right for a, a, an above ground pool yep they just stack up but then you adjust the dial one one through like five these floaters aren't bad either though the floaters right. that we have in there no no i understand those for quite some time and those it's aren't not a bad, bad deal at least all the water coming through is getting hit with yeah chlorine. yeah no about it. so you, you can definitely do both. you can do both yeah I mean, no doubt no, i agree so you can have the pump the filter the heater and then you can throw the tab feeder in line yeah and then go right back to the pool and now you have pumping filtered heated and sanitized water right um, and uh, all powered off the sun, fossil fuel free, which is not a bad deal. So yeah, we have UV, ozone, ionization. Right. I mean, we could really uh, do all the sanitary needs on right. DC power for sure. So See, we could pump, filter, heat, and sanitize your water right. absolutely 100% off the sun. Right, which is like kind of like accessories to the whole thing, but it makes it a whole system, yeah. ecosystem. No doubt about it.